Okay guys, in this video I mixed six and six of each epoxy um, mixture. I'm using the Envirotex Light and I did six milligrams of each. This cup has been glittered. I put epoxy on it and then I did the different colored glitters. This gold was the last one. I did it in a scale. I did the white first and then I did the brown and the green and then the yellow. One. So now what we want, I'm just going to put the epoxy on. When you have white in your ombre, you want to do the white on its own. Like try not to get Try not to bring your finger down to mix in to mix the other glitters into your white so it can stay white. So you want to make sure you get your white first. You are gonna get some, but it's okay, it's not gonna be a big deal. See, my white is all done. This glitter soaks up the epoxy quick. You can push it out and move it around. So next I'm going to do this side. The other colors, it doesn't matter as much. Because if you have some loose glitter, it's going to get on your white. And you don't want that. If you want your white to stay white. Try to squeeze it out as it's turning. And put your finger on there like push it up and it will squeeze some out, some of the epoxy. This is just the first epoxy layer over the glitter layer. So you are going to have it where it's kind of rough still and you're going to do your next layer. You don't want to mix your glitters. If you have loose glitter, it'll get mixed. So then, I already did that side, now I'm going to do this side. The one you worry about the most is your white. The gold I put over the yellow is just kind of like a little accent gold. It's not super strong, but you do want to make sure that your epoxy is all covering every part of the glitter. This is going to be a sunflower cup. I know most sunflower cups are just white, yellow, or gold, but I wanted to put the brown and the green. I wanted to put all the colors of the sunflower. So we got it. The white is um, snow from Recollections and um, the white holographic glitter, glitter from Walmart. I don't have the little bottle. It's, it was just a small um, holographic white at Walmart. When you're doing, you don't, when you want your, um, and piece by to um, over here by the by the lid to be smooth. You smooth your your epoxy over to the edge. Once you got the whole edge, you smooth it out like this. It's still gonna take a couple more coats to get it really smooth. But putting your epoxy on like this, good and thick. You won't get fish eyes, you won't get bubbles. You need to make sure that your room temperature is warm. I keep this little light, it's a small little light, 
I keep that on and then I have my little overhead uh, magnifier light and those stay on all the time while it's turning and you can turn four to six hours sometimes if you keep it warm enough you can go four hours but this you have to pay good attention to your edges so it'll um to make sure you get a smooth edge. I am getting some of my brown into my white right here, but you can move it up. If not, it's okay. The white part is really just gonna be covered with the vinyls, with the little sunflowers. You can, you should invest in a lot of tissue because that's what you're gonna clean your hands with. Uh, tissue and alcohol. I do clean off my glove. For cleaning, you can use any. If you don't want your browns to get mixed in, you can try to move them up. But this isn't going to be a problem because you want to be able to you're going to put your um, stickers on there, and your um, vinyl or your water slide, and that's it. That's You just let it turn. After this, what I do is I get my heat gun. I apply a little heat to get it warmed up. So the epoxy can move. You can see the epoxy moving. And you get your bubbles out and that's it. You can um, ask your questions below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting other how to's on how to make alcohol inks and different things like that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.